It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC East. It's the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots, and it's all up next. Autumn has come to New England. No place like it on earth this time of year. We are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon God and Charles Davis back with you. And Charles, for years, a trip to Foxborough quite often led to a loss for opposing teams. But the Patriots have been, in essence, a 500 team since the departure of TB12 three years ago. And things have switched because they are a defense-led team, and that's what's kept them in most games. Their key, can they get more explosive on offense and truly establish who their QB1 is? Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, this is a team that is built to win now. They feel they have all the pieces in place. What say you, CD? I say that exactly. They've got everything that you're looking for, and they're probably operating under a mentality of no roadblocks, no excuses. Let's get after it. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway in Foxborough. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. Jones looking to throw it on the first play. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Let's see who this is on. So certainly a defensive mistake here in the first quarter, getting hit with a roughing the passer call. And that hurts not just because of the yardage you gave up and give them a fresh set of downs, but that brought the home crowd into this one. And when you go on the road, your job is to silence the crowd, not energize them. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Jones wants to throw to start things out here. Oh, and that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Jones, he'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And he's dropped right at the 40, gain of three. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Throwing Jones. And all of that, nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way you wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. Deontay Hardy back deep. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year. 
and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. They run again on first down. Cook, and he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Tackle made by Adrian Phillips. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second down, here's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 37. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. On play action, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Good work here by the tight end. It's a crossing route off of play action. They're going to let the slot receiver run a post to hopefully let the defense think they're taking a shot. And then they bring the tight end underneath, and it winds up a first down. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. to the touchdown bass to kick it away and out a little across the 25 to the 27 so back onto the field come the pats for their second drive and the last drive the first drive for them not very good three and out what do they go to here well you don't look down at your play sheet and say this is what the problem is yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Line. 
Looking to throw. Jones. And this 12 incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They're giving him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes with a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Jones now from the gun on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. To the air, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and three. Cook up the gut. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? This now a third and four. Throwing now is Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half, and on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. To throw, it's Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Now Allen again. And that is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Little pitch and catch to the tight end. Knox, five yards. Now it's third and five. Here's Allen. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. 
Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. A quick pass out to Juju. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. From the 45 on second down, Jones. Henry's got it. Out on the left side. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this down to the 36. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go all over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. No surprise to see Stevenson making that type of a play. People who know him well, unsurprised to see him over 1,000 yards this past season. He's a bruiser who was also fourth among backs with 69 catches. He can do it all in the New England offense. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Play action. Jones. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start out here with the option left. And not much room there as he'll get it up only to about the 21. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second and nine now from the 21. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they'll get to him right away at the 40. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. He'll get this up to about the 44. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. Play action. Now it's Allen. It's hauled in by Hardy. Only able to gain a couple there. And it's third and four now. Allen. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's 
incomplete. Well, the other day they told us we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. New England trying to get to place on offense. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. Meanwhile, Jones' throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Just need a yard here, second and one. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter gun under a heavy rush and down he goes. Tyler Matakavich coming in for that outside linebacker spot and he buries him for a loss of seven. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Back to throw. Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Here's Jones from the gun on third down. He's going to air one out, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted and spotted at the 14-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Now second and five. Here's Cook again. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. The Bills on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Allen off the play fake. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 
His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Here comes a former Patriot. This is Damian Harris. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Nice little juke. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Allen's throw is complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. The name of the game is always on defense. Put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. Now Allen throwing on second down. It's complete to Diggs. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Allen to throw once more. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Now Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. to the touchdown bass to kick it away and no return from montgomery bring it out to the 25 new england's offense set to go 
And they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Now Jones. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 34-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Again, it's Stevenson. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Throwing Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target. Able to pick up another first down. Jones throwing on first down. He'll get this underneath to Stevenson. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Second down and three. Straight ahead at Stevenson. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Now Jones on third and two. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. the bootleg Jones a quick throw there is incomplete well, this is a half for not just the coverage but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game
second and ten. Off the bootleg, Jones. And this will be caught by Brown. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. to throw again. Touchdown, Patriots! Juju Smith-Schuster, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have got it back to within a score. As they began this last drive, things weren't exactly looking up for this offense. But after what they just did, putting the ball in the end zone, that took them away from the brink of possibly being knocked out of this game. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And that one makes it 14 to seven. So that drive 12 plays in length. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They start the drive with Cook. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Allen going to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Throwing is Allen on third. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. Throwing on first down is Allen. And that one behind his receiver and incomplete. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis, but it's going to be second down. Allen now looks to throw. Slow and incomplete. Oh, uh, they'll certainly be on the tap. What's going on with that one for sure? Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Now they face a third and ten after back to back incompletions. And again, it's Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal, 
I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool them. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on downs. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. He finds Parker. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw, Jones. Throw right side, gonna be taken in by Henry. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Back to throw, Jones. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. They'll look to throw again. are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Got a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am, go ahead and tap it out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Now Hardy on the return. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Now Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. To throw, it's Allen. And that one to the right side and incomplete. back-to-back -back incompletions and that has them staring at a third and ten this time they stay on the ground and he'll be 
he's stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Jones now. A final shot before break. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, We thought thanks. this one yeah, would be a close team's battle coming in, some and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this, to this point. point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 and the Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up Charles and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Field. Here's Allen. He's got the hookup with Diggs. A big play here for Buffalo. 42 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run with Cook. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 
49 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets him down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Cook. And Cook will get in for a Bills touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. But Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Terrell Bernard is in on the tackle. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. They run once more with Stevenson, and he'll get a couple up to the 29. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get them much at all. No, not at all. That leaves them with third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. Now third down and seven. Operating from the gun, Jones. That is caught. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. With the kind of game he's had so far, he had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Tackle on the play by Christian Benford. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and six. Running left is Stevenson. And he is going to lose yardage here. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's caught by Parker. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 37. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. They go play action here on first down. 
That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Throwing again on second down. Jones. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. A run there with Cook on first down, but it won't net him much. Maybe a yard. Second down coming up. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. That pass is caught by Hardy. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Here's third and six. Here's Allen to throw it. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. It's taken to the 26. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return, and the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Ball on the 39. Here's second and a couple. Juju in motion left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. To about the 48-yard line. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Second and seven. Now Jones, short pass caught by Henry. Two yards on the pickup there, and it brings up third and five now. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 41-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Jones throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll make it second down. A defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. touchdown earlier nearly a second one there yeah it took a touchdown saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play perhaps you go right back to him don't need the distance but maybe you can pay things off after a big effort now a play fake here on first down Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Elliott will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. Maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all in the first half, at least running the football. But here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone, and he responds. One carry, one touchdown. Ryland on for the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10.
Here's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end. Knox stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second down at the 24-yard line. Here's a second and five. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back now in Foxborough. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. This is second and eight. From the gun, it's Allen. And his throw is incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and couldn't become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy playing it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well, that I think Lady Luck was on his side. Forced out to his left. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. From here on, any score could be the winning one, and he is certainly aware of that. Look at the way he locked in on that marker and made a mad scramble to get to it for the first down. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And they'll come up second and seven. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, I mean, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. New England trying to get a place on offense. 
They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And Stevenson's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. This offense so far on third down, well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and seven. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. The Bills offense back out onto the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. First down, here's the run with Cook. Oh, look at the juke. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor, and it's a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you're talking about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Here's Allen on first and 10, going right. Oh, no, he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. 
Now, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Previous play is under review. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 96 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That was a good play, an incompletion that feels like a disappointment. The ball was tipped in the air, a chance for an interception, and you can just feel the home crowd coming together thinking, this is the big play we've been looking for. And when it falls to the ground, a little bit of disappointment, even though it was a good play. Five yards, now it's third and five. touchdowns in the game for this offense this time they're forced into taking the three but you did mention four touchdowns right so four out of five not too bad I think that's a pretty good record for them So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time, all right? It's not like, you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and that'll bring up second down.
Throwing again. Jones. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. Third down here. They'll look to throw again. And this one is incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Oh, hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Cook up the gut, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start. But now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball. Getting it away from them because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Left side, Cook. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second down, Cook. Unable to corral him. He fights through, and he will be brought down, but a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. 123 yards rushing now as he's done it on 22 carries. Cook will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the one. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Harris is in. Touchdown, Bills. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So the Patriots coming out now. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging. But in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Here's Jones on third and two. And that will be incomplete as well. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. It's one play at a time, baby. Once again, we got to get it to the and they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn.
And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.